Lucky Luke. And we are going to have a great match for you right now. Oh, I'm excited. It's going to be big time. We got the Rocket versus Max Everly. <sighs> Who you like, my brother? <sighs> you know, I'm actually going to go with my buddy Max, man. All right, I got to go with my dude, the Rocket, right now. <sighs> Just lucky to be here at the Swanee on Q Billiards, La Mesa. Sweating some great pool. <sighs> Man, I'm, I'm feeling great right now. I got my man Lucky Luke. I feel like we got the sidekick over here. We, we're about to get it in. Two superheroes. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Yeah. This is great. Great things. Glad you're here on the West Coast, brother. Me too, man. All right. And uh, the rocket set to break. He's got a new weapon. He's got that nice new Tascarella. <sighs> Gorgeous cue. I haven't seen Max play. I, no, I did. Part. I saw him play at Good Times in Vegas for a short minute, but I haven't seen him play in competitive for, for a while. And again, this is a winner's side match. This is uh, They're pretty deep in the tournament on this side. Race to eight. Yeah, for sure. All right. And Fargo Raven is up. 72% for Rocket. And he spread them. They wide open from there. Yeah. Killed the Rock. Yes, he did. I, I actually saw Rocket practicing. He was on the other table in the back. Breaking them. That's what that's what the pros do, man. Like same thing with Shane. You saw him, he'll break and break and break like eight, ten yeah. hours a day. Yeah, ridiculous. Dedication. Rockets right in line. A little pinch draw to get on his five ball, and it this should be all she wrote. That's all she wrote. You're for sure about that. And pool players, take note. Do you see the attire that Rodney Morris has on? That's all I'm going to say, Luke. The what? The attire. Yes. The vest. Looking yes. very professional. professional. That's all I'm saying. Classy, yes. Look good, feel good, play good. Exactly. And if we had a camera to pan around the room, all the railbirds are here. Got a fine little crowd in attendance, people practicing. He made quick work of that rack. Yes, he did. Like I said, they don't call him the paper plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, rocket hole search. This is one nothing. We're at the Swanee 2016 on cue in La Mesa, California. And one of our sponsors is Kamui. All right, another one will be Checkio. Check them out at www.checkio.com. And, Luke, just fill them in real quick on Checkio. Man, it's, what it does is it helps you um, with mind. Yes. Um, it, it helps you focus and stay calm, and it really works, man. We really tried to set it off in Vegas last year at the BCA APA. Right. And um, it's really taken the uh, pool industry by storm, and I absolutely love it. I won't play a game or a match without it. Um, it comes in not only the liquid form. Right. On uh, the cans or the tablets. Okay. And um, check it out. We're going to be at the expo this year. We're giving away 5,000 cans. All right. I'll be in that line. <laughs> I want some improved focus myself. Yes. Yes. <laughs> check us out at On The Wire Promotions and OnTheWire.com. And we'll be at the expo. So come through. All right, Max, the break. You know, Max says that you want to learn some stuff, go to ProPoolAcademy.com. Oh, yeah. That's his stuff. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Max does great work. Uh, he does. He's always giving back to the community. He's always been a, a very helpful guy. He pockets that wing ball, Luke, and he's going to get a shot on the one. Well, no, oh, he had a shot on the one. Mad Max Everly. Maximus. I call him Maximus. You know, he was actually my road dog last year at the U.S. Open. Oh, nice. Yeah, we roomed together and we played in the U.S. Open. That's beautiful. Good, good friend of mine. Did he get behind the nine? Yes, he did. <sighs> you know what? I think he left him a window. Yes, he did. He left him <laughs> the edge. And, uh... Man, we're looking for a rocket to bank the one ball up table. There's a wall of balls there, Luke. Mm -hmm. He has his choice for safety options. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you, just, you can just bank it in the side from there. Yeah. <laughs> uh. 
It's my bad. I made a bad call. <laughs> oh, <my gosh. laughs> oh, man. That's what happens when you get on that Czechio, man. That's you what just, happens. You just do things, you know. So Czechio is like limitless, but for pool players. Yeah, pretty much. All right. It's it's really awesome. All right. We'll check it out with Czechio. Oh. Wow. Man. Max playing with those new edition Muchis. Shout out to Bob Muchi. And yes, he's he's doing he's been doing a lot lately, man, with the players. Yeah, yeah. Max has been with uh, Muchi for quite well, a while. Max Elvey is a, a class act, you know, here from California. Now transplanted to Las Vegas, and he's always been a very giving spirit. And right now, for him to be playing in the Swanee, you know, this is a good thing. Remembering the spirit of that man in pool. He is. It's it's a beautiful thing we got going on here. That's what we're here for, is to honor the uh, the man. That made all this possible. There you go. Well, that was a bit aggressive by Mr. Eberly. Looking to take advantage of Rodney's miscue and back cut that two ball. I think we're going to see a little bit of cat and mouse here. Mm -hmm. Maybe he puts that two ball down table. It's a big match. Yes, it is. You know, whoever wins this goes into the, what is it, the final, final four? Right. right. Of the winner's side? Right. So this is huge. Yeah. You want to make sure that you handle your business. There you go. He hit that good. He hit that really good. Yes, he did. He put him in. He put him in purgatory right there. Max is looking at the two rail kick here, trying to get separation. Well, here we go. A little bit of side discussions here with my man, Stephen Kwan, holding us down. A happy belated birthday to Stephen. Absolutely. <laughs> and the, uh, Ooh, once look again, at that. I told you that, that's Ooh. real kick, man. He hit that ball good. Mr. Everly hit that ball good. He hit it good. But, you know, those one-pocket players will tell you that's a hanger. <laughs> yeah, that's a hanger. <laughs> <laughs> I can shoot that blindfolded with one hand. Of course. Okay, well, the work, he still has work cut out for him here, Luke. Um, oh, I don't shoot, I don't shoot this ball. I don't, I mean, you can play it. If he plays this ball and puts himself in trouble, he's not going to like it. You didn't think that was a good ball about you, did you? Thank you, man. Oh, here he goes. He's uh, picking and choosing what he's going to do, but he's going to make sure that he keeps this tightened up. And he puts him right behind the six ball. That's a, what a great shot that was. And now the Rock is going to have to – he's he's looking to uh, capitalize here, but this is going to be tough. A little bit of draw trying to straighten this, straighten this Rock out, coming towards that three ball. Parallel. It's coming right to the middle. Ooh. And he missed it. Just barely missed it. Okay, well, Max, Max has the ball in hand. He's, he's ready to get going. Max is waiting for the opposite table to, to get out his way. He shouldn't have any problems here. He just takes his time. Right. Runs him out. So it looks like uh, he's going to play that six. Should play it in the corner. I don't, I don't see him jumping out the window trying to play it in the side pocket here. Just yes. a little farther. Yeah. But no hill for a climber. Yeah, Max you, could, handle, you, yeah. Could just, you could just put straight bottom on there and just yeah. come down to the rail. Yeah. 
me and Max were talking about going vegan. Well, he, he is kind of working getting back to vegan. And I live in California now, and everybody out here seems to be vegan. <laughs> Whoa, that ball took off. Yeah, it did. Man. Well, we're going to see a little bit of Q action here. Cutting into that top corner. It's going to have some maneuvering here to do. Back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. Nice shot there. And pros hit that ball so good. They know where that side pocket is. It's not even in their equation. Yeah. They say, I'll hit this ball back and forth straight. I'll be okay. Just like Earl said, he goes, I don't want to play on a table without side pockets. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to make it happen from there. Max looks back at that. There was a little bit of shoulder movement on that uh, loop. Just just a hair. Probably enough to catch the edge of that pocket. Oh, wow. I, I, I don't believe that. Wow. It happens, man. People yes, don't it realize does. it don't matter if you're the best playing pro in the world, man. Everybody misses. Everybody misses. People think that pros don't miss. Everybody misses. They just miss less than we do. <laughs> Absolutely, they do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we got action here. It's a one-one match. Wow, that was a that was a crazy game there. Yeah, it was. It was, and that's what makes pool so great. It's unpredictability. Right, that's, it's tied at one apiece. Winner side match. Winner gets into the uh, final four. Is it the final four? I think it's the, the top the top four on the yeah, winner side. Top four. And they look at all the rail birds. Man, they got yeah. the whole bar is full. They're nesting. Everybody's watching. California, you know, it's funny. A lot of people say that California, oh, pool's not big in California. Well, guess what, man? You're not from California. You got to go to the right spot. You go to the right spots, it's good. It is good. Yeah. Nice break there by Rodney. Yeah, he's, man, that guy breaks well. When he gets it in, he breaks really well. Yeah, I saw him. Uh, he was at my old pool room in Florida at Capone's. He was playing Johnny Archer that challenge match. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, I do. He, uh, what are you breaking? Breaking run nine. Yeah. Put a nine pack. It's just sick. You know what I mean? <laughs> sick. That's why I say, man. People, you know, <laughs> they get the, besides themselves with the alternate break, but um, straight up, where he can break and run, I <sighs> not like it at all. A nine pack. Right. That's just. Well, he, he got a little. He got fortunate here. Um, he missed a one, right. but he left Max. Uh, tough shot here. Do you do you spin? Do you go off the rail? Yeah. You go off the lower rail. Yeah, I go off that um, or the top the or top the rail to swing it back around, and go right where that path is by the four, to get back up to the two. So it's three rails coming towards the nine ball to shoot the two in the opposite corner. Gonna kick that way. I think he likes it. Well, he's got a bigger window because he can hit the rail on different. You know, he can hit the rail higher up, lower up, and you're still gonna make the one ball. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Five throws are a little bit of a problem for him right now. Not a total big problem, but a problem nonetheless. You got me wanting to play pool now. You don't. There you go. <laughs> oh, and I was talking to Max before the match, and he he uses Czechio. Oh, there you he, go. Yes, he does, and he actually loves it, man. He uses he does exactly what I do. He drinks he usually drinks a can, and then he uh, takes two of the tablets. He can play this ball so many ways, but I always try to play at least resistance. You yeah, know. see there he goes. He's going to choose a path that, that natural cue ball. Exactly. Just let your stroke out. 
three rails and end up right where his knee is right now. Yep. Perfect. Mm -hmm. He still has a little bit of work to do here. I think the five passes in the lower right-hand corner where the three is. But it's kind of hard to tell from this angle. Right. I think we're about to find out by how he cues on this ball. Yes, it does. That five does pass in the corner. Give yourself a little angle here. I think he would like to have been a little straighter in on that four, though. Just right. a tad. A little pinch draw here off the rail right towards that five ball. I guess he saw it. I guess it goes in the side, too. <laughs> you know, that's the difference about these guys. He, he's going to play the shot that he's most confident with. You know, and it's always good to be able to learn the shot. Plus, it was natural angle when he shot that four. He lets that stroke out. He doesn't baby balls. He, he would like to be a little better on his seven ball, though, Luke. Yeah, he got, he got a little funny. Well, once again, he's going to go three rails. Right where he shot that other ball from. There he goes. I like to not use yeah. I like to not to use the third rail, but right in line. That's a beautiful shot, Luke. Mm -hmm. And the rocket leads two to one over Max Everly. This is the Swanee Memorial live from On Q Billiards in La Mesa, California. Uh, sponsored by Kamui and Chequio Products. This is Ra Hanna. Lucky Luke. Again, this this part of California is beautiful. Yeah, and I just love San Diego. Yeah. Gorgeous. We're just laughing because my my water just disappeared. Wow, it was like right in front of me. I think that guy that took my picture took it. <laughs> <laughs> Jack my water. Oh. Go get a water if you want, man, I guess. That's all good. Rodney Morris to set the break here. I mean Max Everly, my bad. He's gotta he's gotta come with a big break here, man. He killed the rock. He sure did. Who's that one? He got he has a shot. We're off he's to the good. races. Absolutely. I don't know if that two naturally you just wanna go. Like one rail, hit right. top rail, and come down and shoot the two in the same pocket. But I don't know if it goes. It looks like the six is blocking the edge, or he might have like a you know a quarter of a pocket to shoot that ball. See what he does here. Mm. Not, not Max seems a little tentative right now. Yeah, he's not he's not really that comfortable yet. Right. And you know it is a little hot in here, so that could yeah. be affecting him a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. I get warm very easily. <laughs> you better get used to it. This is California, brother. I know. But the weather's nice here. It's about comparable to Florida. So no, no humidity here. Yeah. People say it's humidity in California. Oh, good try there. They haven't been to Florida. <laughs> mm -mm. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that struggle's real. All right, the Rocket has a decision to make here, Luke. If he comes.
comes behind the seven, he just wants to make sure <coughs> that he doesn't hook himself behind the seven. Absolutely. So he makes sure he can put a good stroke on this ball. That took a lot of confidence right there. Yeah, it did. I would have hooked myself. It slow rolled it by. Yeah. That was pocket speed. I would end up putting like a little inside and hitting one round and trying to come down and go in between them because I would end up hooking myself if I did that. <laughs> and he, now he's right in line. He should have rolled up a little more though on that five ball. Just a little bit. Yeah. Well, he says, you know what, when I'm going to slide right over. When you uh, cut them like that, it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the angles that he likes. He hit that ball effortlessly. Just cut right through that ball. And now he's good good on this seven ball. I mean, he got a little close to his work a little bit, but he's going to pop this in and just go right down table to play this eight ball. Um. He's going to have to put a little stroke on it. You know, it's nothing easy. Yeah, he took, he opted for a lot harder shot, but he right. didn't want to get hooked behind that nine if he put, if he come down and this way he's naturally going to bump the nine. Oh, he went all the way. He went all the way. What a shot that he was. He didn't want to hold that cue ball. Wow. And he's still 50 50 right now. Whew. He's struggling in the last five shots. Yeah, yeah. He, the speed is not correct for him right now. But he will recover. Nope. Overcut it. He, he missed it. He, he left it. That's a tough cut right there. When he left him, too. Well, this is Max Everly. I have total faith he just cuts this ball right in. Yeah, and you know, like a, like what I do most, like I cut it in and scratch in the corner. That'd be my luck. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put a little something on it. <laughs> good shot there. That's a great shot. That was a good shot. That's right. Now it's deuce. Double deuce. Man, because this video is pretty good on Pro Bowl Academy. I actually have all his uh, DVDs. No, Max Everly is a good player, absolutely. Yeah. But he does have great fundamentals, and he can explain what he's talking about. Exactly. That's the difference. That's what makes you a good coach. Too. Absolutely. Sometimes, you know, your coach cannot explain what's going on. And if he can't explain what's going on, then, you know, that knowledge is not going to be passed to the person you're trying to teach it to. Yeah. And the only way to learn is you got to go out and do it, too. Absolutely. You know, I mean, I, I could watch all the videos I want, but unless I go out and actually shoot the shots, Absolutely. Doing is learning. I mean, you got to do it. Yes, you do. Well, Rodney's breaking here. The score is what? Two to two. Two to two. Race to six. He hammered that one, too. Oh, boy. Yeah, that, oh, boy. That's. <laughs> yeah. This looks like a drill for Rodney. They're perfect. Look, nothing. The only thing that's out there is a nine. I mean, it's. This should take take less than 20 seconds for the rocket to get out <laughs> here. Just pop, 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 and he's on his way. That's it. He's going side and spin right back down towards the four, right, in, right into the line. It's perfect. Yeah. The five and the seven are on the same part of the table. He's, his hard work is done. And the eight's in the best spot ever. Absolutely. And the he can, right there. He can get it. Yeah, he can get it from anywhere. <laughs> you know, if he put it there with his hand. He's right in line. It's going to be all she wrote. Yeah. He cuts this in. Goes back and forth, and it's over. Wow. Wow. How strong. You see? You see that now? <laughs> I, you know, I just thought he went back and forth, and he, he said, this is my back and forth. 
and it's perfect for him. Wow. You know, that's, that's a personal preference for Rodney Morris. He, he loves that shot. So for him to hit that ball like that, to come in and play the extra rail to get <laughs> position, that's just, you know, he's just doing it to torture us. <laughs> that's awesome. Right. Great Most shot. Most people wouldn't do that. No. No. They you're just come one way and come exactly. over. You're just going to go back and over. You're not going to do all that fancy stuff. But that's that, a rocker's game. That's what he's comfortable with. All right. And this match is Fargo Raid enabled. And Rodney Morris with a 78% win advantage here. 78% to win this match. Max Epley at 22% right now. Nice. It's an honor to be here with you in the booth, man. My brother, man. I'm so, I'm so happy right now. I know there's a bunch of people out there in the, in the world that are happy that me and you are here because this is this is this is problems. <laughs> this yeah. is problems. Me and you trouble. together is problems. They in trouble. That's absolutely people correct. In trouble. That's facts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, my my hats off to you, man. You 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 grind and you know you struggle and you do on what you what you believe in, man. And we're just out here on the West Coast trying to bring some professionalism into this game, the game that I love. And I, you know, if I can, you know, do that, I'm happy, happy to do it. Wow, Max caught a good one right there. Except for that 5-9, he, yep. you know, but the uh, three might lead to the breakout. Or he can play a safe on yep. the five. He can make the three and just clip it, clip that nine out yeah. with the cue ball. And Max is a straight pool player, so he he knows how to bump balls. I think Max is one of the top five. I'm saying this. I'm going out on a limb. I think he's one of the top five best straight pool players in the United States when he's on his game. Okay. I'm, I'm really saying that. Okay. <laughs> so, United States, you got John Schmidt. Yep. Number one. Um, yeah, but in the United States, John Smith's not number one straight yeah, ball player? Well, well, see, Darren Appleton lives in the United States now, too. Oh, okay. You know, so it's uh, kind of like, how do you draw the line? Darren there? plays better straight pool than Schmitty? No. Not right, so I got you. But he's, he's a monster. No, I, I, let's, let's not be silly. Of course he is. He's a monster. <laughs> of um, course he is. His cue ball control is, I think, one of the top three in the world. He's Darren's a beast for sure. In the world. A beast for sure. How do you hit it? Oh. He tried to play the short side of the three. Right. And it might have just cost him the game. That's going to cost him the game. Because he's got a perfect break out here. Look at that. Rocket said, you know. Yeah, he broke that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I didn't try to say what he was going to do. Nonchalant. He just broke it out. And he said, if it goes anywhere, I'll have a shot. Oh, he goes like three rails, comes around. But you know what? That's a new level of, of confidence that the Rocket has. He says, I'll bump it out. I'll get a shot. I'm not worried about it. But that right there was a thing of beauty, that shot right there. He's getting his, he's getting his stroke, man. He's right. really starting to feel it now. Yes, he is. He's getting loose. People better watch out, man. He's a, a tough guy to beat. Yeah, he gets. He might be the best front runner in history. Even though Mika is uh, pretty strong at the front too. But uh, my all-time best front runner ever, Captain Hook, Mike Siegel. Captain Hook. Mike Siegel. He get. He, he went to any tournament. He was. He's very tough to beat. Yeah, he was. I know Mike. He used to he used to play out of Capone's for a while because nice. he moved he moved to Florida. We talked and. That's awesome. All right, Rodney Marsh ahead, four to two. Rahan and Lucky Luke in the booth. And that's how we do it. And Lucky Luke is a employee of Kamui. Yes, I am. I actually moved out here from uh, Clearwater, Florida, to work for Kamui. That's good. I'm glad you are. And I worked hard to get that. There you go. Yes, you did. Hats off to you, my brother. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hard work pays off. Yes, it does. It really does. Don't and that it. nine ball's going. Look at that. It's going. <laughs> <laughs> and it counts in the bottom two, yeah, don't Yeah, that was oh, a foot man. race. Oh, man. <laughs> that ball was going. <laughs> oh, he's like, do the, the rocket, man. Oh, man. Yeah, I had a lot of people, man, just like really come through with me and help me out when I moved. Man, like Scott gave me a TV. I got people buying me. Like, it's just crazy, man. A stereo. You're a good person, good things happen. <laughs> I'm just being me, you know. Do you? All right. Uh, Max has a shot here. He's gonna, he's gonna have to swing it. Oh. That was a nice 
two way shot though. Mm -hmm. he yeah, nice two -way. He, yeah, he hit it with the proper speed. Said if I don't get there, I'll be okay. But uh, Rocket has a nice two rail kick here. He doesn't want to put it all the way down by that one ball though, Luke. No. You see, he knew. He said, "Oh uh, no." Oh boy. Uh oh. The only good thing is that that four is blocking all. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> If not, we might have saw a carom here, Luke. I think we would have. <laughs> I'm interested to see how Max plays his shot. He's going to run into the 4-9. I mean, the 9-4. And cut the one. Wow, you want to Wow, that was... That was tough from there, man. Yeah. And the angle. And uh, no pocket for the two, Luke. You can... Oh, you can almost thin the two. Right. On the left side. Yes, yeah. Send that cue ball. Yeah. yeah. David Martino and Sal Butera to the tournament desk. And send the cue ball behind the eight and come all the way back down table. Right. Because, well, you know, when the two hits the five, the cue, the two's going to stop pretty much where the five is. I mean, maybe he can just, you know, hit him with the straight back on the two to the four. He's shooting this ball. Straight back. Ooh. He tried it. He got away with it. Yes, he did. Uh, the Rockets, this, this is tough. Uh, look, he's at least partially snookered by that seven ball that he can't just cut that two to the four. But uh, the Rockets very inventive. Yes, he is. He's jacking up. Ooh. Oh, look at his spin. Look at He's trying to. Oh. <laughs> he's trying to make that four. Yeah, yes, he, he was. That's what I mean. He's a very inventive player, very creative. He is. Ronnie's a good guy all around, man. Great guy, good person to talk to about pool. He really knows his history. So I'm looking for Max Everly to, to uh, regroup here and get out. Put this two in the side and have a good shot on the three. There you go, off to the races. There he goes. And uh, once once these pros get in line, they don't tend to get out of line. No, they don't. Once they feel the right angle of those shots. <laughs> oh. I'm getting photographed as we <laughs> speak. <laughs> get used to it, it's the West Coast. I know. Give a shout out to Chris Santana over here, um, doing all his photographs and pictures and. Fast and loose, OTW, baby. Yes. He does a lot of cool. I didn't remember him being so tall, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looking at, uh, he can go behind the six. Or go. Okay, he chose to go that way. Take all the balls out of advantage. He's going to have to, mm, this, this, he's not out the woods here. It's tough. I would have played one rail, maybe missed a seven and tried to shoot the five in the right-hand corner. But I usually, sometimes when I do that, sometimes I'll, I'll play it too long, too. Right. You know, you can't judge the speed and you play it long. No. It's putting a little inside on this. Force that cue ball off the line to give him a good shot on Just the Just go six. down a little bit, yep. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. He manufactured that angle. So here, he could just hit this mm -hmm. seven in the corner where he's at, unless he decides a nice shot there. He stayed down really good on that shot. Out there, he decided not to do anything crazy. That's what they do. That's what the pros do. They just settle. They take that longer shot, Luke. They don't try to get themselves in trouble by forcing the ball. I see too many players, not pros, but just in general, trying to make an angle or create an angle that's not there and end up missing the ball. The ball's going to take the natural angle. You just got to let it go. 
Correct. You can't make a ball take an angle that's not there. Look at that. That was a nice shot there. There goes one for Max right there. There we go. Four to three. We got us a game. Uh, it, yes, we do. And that was never in jeopardy. We knew we were going to have action. These guys aren't. Nobody's going to fold up and uh, move out of town. They're going to play. Yes, they are. All right, and we have a new Fargo rating. Rodney Morris still at 78%, and Max Everly creeping up with 22. 22. I'm going to give a shout-out to uh, Kamui and Chekio for being the official sponsors of this great event. All right. Uh, for those of you following Fargo rate, this match is Fargo rate enabled, and player one, which is Rodney Morris, his rating is 782, and Max Everly's rating is a 740. This is the wave of the future, and uh, we should get used to it because this is how we're going to raise this handicap and get this playing field leveled. That's how it needs to be. Like I said, you can put away the sandbags because the calculator is here. That's it. And it needs to be. Absolutely. Shout out to uh, Mike, pa Mike Page, I think his last name is. Thank you, Mike. Ooh, see what he got here. He's got a shot. He, he does have a shot. It's just that position zone is a little, little, little tight, but he's a professional. You got to get in that special window to get on that three, though, from there. Yes, he does. He's going to have to show us a little bit of his skills right now. I think I put inside and cut it medium stroke and try to come in between the three and the eight and maybe even possibly bump the eight. Because I don't like going all the way around. Oh, no, no, no. You don't want to let that cue ball loose. I go in between the eight, the three and the eight. Less I mean movement nine. as possible. Yep. It's just hard enough to make it. Right in between the three and the eight. That's the shot right there. That was beautiful. Good, good technical shot by Max. And uh, for him, maybe that hard work is over. It's funny how the single shots in a game are like the defining moments of that game, you know? Absolutely. And pool is tough like that. That's why I think it's one of the toughest games ever because a millimeter changes the game. It does. Bridge work by Mr. Eberle. He's still tree topped. Yeah, he's over that ball. That's a that side and just that much tougher. Any time you're shooting over a ball, it magnifies the difficulty of the shot. It does, and I know he wishes that he wasn't there so he can just naturally go one round and come all the way you out. You can swing the cue freer. That was the shot of the match right there. Yes, it was. Now he's got to come with another one. Mm -hmm. Did he, do you play safe here? No, I cut this ball in the side and go three rails around to the seven. Man, I'm aggressive. Yeah, I'm not trying to sit there and have you do that to me. Decided to play safe. That's why I sit in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> I would have played safe too. No, I'm shooting. I'm not gonna play safe. Look how good he played it though. Yeah, it's perfect. He played it good. He's bringing. He's getting a jumper. Yeah. If I have a chance to make the ball to to win the match, I shoot. I'm going for it. Yeah. Cause I feel like he, you know if he hits that ball nice medium pace, he's gonna swing it around. Maybe the angle was a little steeper than what I saw here, but um. 
good players get out. Oh, yeah. I but safety wins games. Yes, it does. I used to play. I used to go for a lot of shots, man, that I shouldn't have went for. And then I started no, playing more sure. safety. It helped my game out. Of course. Well, he goes, Rodney's about to jump this five. I wouldn't be surprised if he made this ball, to be honest with you. The way he's <laughs> rolling today, he's hitting these balls really good. You know? Ooh. That's why he got him. How'd he miss it? Oh, he got him. Jacked up. Yep. You got to put a lot of spin on this ball. Yes, he does. And it's going to take proper technique right now. This is a tough shot. Absolutely. This is. I hope you guys out there watching this realize this is a tough shot. He's going to have to bring it. And you're going to come all the way around and come two rails, possibly three, and leave it on where that chalk is. You want to be on that side of the table. This is tough. I see he plays it safe. I don't see him playing safe from here. A lot of spin. A low left. Come around. Wow, nice shot there. How'd he hit that ball? <laughs> oh, man. He hit that ball good. Mr. Evely came to play. That might be the shot of the match. So far, that might be the MVP shot of the match. Besides that two-rail kick? Oh, that's <laughs> tough. <laughs> All right. Max Everly is uh, he's, he's grinding it out here. He's taking his opportunities when he can get them. He's looking more focused. Yes, he does. It's that Checchio, I'm telling you. Get your check up with Checchio. Uh, that stuff works, man. I believe you. I, you know, people just need to try it. You'll see. And I don't, you know, I, I'm, I'm blown away how much it works. Got this in the side. That was a nice shot there. Very nice. He hit that ball really good. He hit that ball really good. We got a 4-4 four, four ball game. Here we go. There, That's what I'm talking about. You get up there and you handle your business and good things happen. Yes, they do. Again, so you, you guys are going to be at the expo, right? You have a yes, boost? we are. Yes, nice, we have two nice, nice. Pool is not dead and on the wire. Nice. So That's come awesome. by and check us out. Sweet. I'll be by. I know, brother. I know. That's Unless right. I'm crazy That's busy. You, know? you will be crazy, be crazy busy. We'll we got, come visit. Oh, okay. We got the table, too. So Nice. We're going to be doing some challenge matches. Oh. Some pro challenge matches. Oh, that's awesome. Trying to do some seminars, um, question and answers with the pros. Good. Pick that's their heads a little bit. That's beautiful. You know. That's a good thing. It's going to be awesome. All right. Ron needs a break. Rock at the break at 4-4. Four, four. It's a race to four right now. Damn. Okay. They hit that ball solid. That was a very good break. But he's, uh, I don't know. That angle looks kind of tight on that one ball. I don't think he can spin past that. Kind of tough one right here. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it goes. <coughs> we will find out because if it goes, Rodney will shoot it. But he's taking his time, so that must mean he's a little bit of difficulty there. Something. You know, a lot of the pros talk to themselves. Maybe I need to start talking to myself. <laughs> Maybe I'll be better. I'll start talking <laughs> to myself. If I talk to myself, I'll just be a pro who talks to himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Steven's laughing at us. He's like, these guys are hilarious. Oh. Okay. I don't, know. I, think that, I don't think that ball goes. No, if it went, Rock would have shot that ball already. Unless he's looking at swerving this ball or something. There's something about it he don't like. That's a good shot. Oh, it came out. He's got a Max has a great chance here to play a save. You don't think Max just cuts his one ball in? Cuts it in the corner? Yeah. Whew. Man, you're getting crazy aggressive, ain't you? I don't know, man. I don't think so. Mm, okay. I don't think I'm cutting this ball in. You think Max is playing a safe here? Yeah, even if it's frozen, I'm not cutting it in. Okay. Cue ball up top and just thin the one? Yeah, you can just thin the one, send the cue ball. Um, Behind the six and three. Definitely a good angle to play safety here and uh, 
I don't know. It just looks to me like he's cutting this ball in. He's banking it. He did cut it in. Wow. What a shot that was, huh? You're right, buddy. Hey, I could be right one step in the Millennium <laughs> book. <laughs> they can call me Lucky Ra. Oh. It's a lucky look. All right. Well, he's he's in trouble here. He's jacked up on the rail, and he has to go back and forth again to gain access for an angle on that three ball. This is not an easy rack. No. And these are type of racks that the pros run that we dog. Oh, nice shot there. And he has another tester. That's what happens, man. You get out of line, you stay out of line until you play a great shot to get back. And this is not an easy rack at all. Absolutely not. Put a nice stroke on this one. Ooh. Mm. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop a good shot, brother. Oh my goodness. You can't stop a good shot. <sighs> <laughs> Shannon, a little moment of levity with uh, Max Everly. <laughs> it's pool. He knows he caught a good roll right yep. there. Yep, it's pool. You know, and Rocket knows it. Rocket's seen it all. So he knows. Mm -hmm. No use of getting upset and your opponent got yeah, he did. It didn't go in the pocket where he called it, but he's still shooting, so And we've all had it happen to us. And we've we, we've all done it to somebody else. So Absolutely. Rather be lucky than good. Yeah. What if you're both? Ooh. Oh. They don't call me lucky for nothing. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to get out more and start playing. Good for you, brother. I don't think you're going to have time to play, bro. I think you're just going to be busy representing pool. <laughs> That's okay, too. I'm just letting you know. All right. Straight in shot here for Mr. Everly. Six, the eight ball is available for the side pocket or the corner. So we don't see any problems here. It's a big game. Let's put Max up a game. Will this be the first time Max leads in this match? Yes. And that lead momentum is tremendous. Yes, it is. He got a little squirrely on it. He's going to have to go in the corner. He could. He's also thinking about coming around the table. And then, you know, crazy stuff happens when you come around the table. Yeah, I think he just goes in the corner. You want to simplify that cue ball. Unless he has it in the side. I don't know. He looked a little weird at it, but we'll find out. How about that, Luke? That's confidence. How about you just hit it like that? That's confidence. Absolutely. What a great shot yeah. that was by Max Everly. I mean, most people would have shot the side and took the longer mm -hmm. shot or he tried to go like around it. and get back. Yep. He didn't like it. Yeah. And just like that, it's 5-4. It's raw Hannah with my man. Lucky Luke. All right. In we the have booth. the Swanee, <laughs> Swanee <laughs> Memorial 2016. I can't CSI. believe I'm here, man. No, me, me neither, but it's That's good awesome. you are here. Sponsored by Kamui and Jackie O. This is CSI Q Sports International. Coming up in July 20th to 30th, we have the 40th BCAP National Championships. 40th? Yes. Wow. Sponsored by Diamond Billiards, Cyclops, The Rio, Kamui, CSI, Billiards Digest, Predator Qs, Viking Qs, and Simona's Cloth. Be a part of something bigger, BCA pooling. And it is powered by Fargo rate. That's going to be fun this, this year. This Fargo event. rating is going to be the real deal for pool, so get used to it, everybody out there. It is. It's about time. Yes, it we is. We had something because, man, Sam Standardize. Man. Standardize the system. Yes. Max to break. This is huge here. If Max can break and run. Yeah, that would be big. Momentum on his side. And Fargo rating has it tight. Look at that. 49.51. Max, Max done jumped up there. Oh, oh, no. Got him in the hole. No. And oh. not even in the hole. They're all open and available. It's nothing oh. tough here. See, that, that hurts the player, man. You cannot scratch, man. You cannot lose that momentum. That's what it is also. Mm -hmm. Momentum is key. I like this. The Rocket's taking his time, cleaning his cue before he addresses the table. 
That's what I tell everyone. When you're at the table, you're at the table. That's it. You don't have to worry about nothing else. No. Nothing. It's you and the table. Absolutely correct. And a lot of people don't use that or think about that as much. Right. It's just you and the table. Right. Nothing else matters. The toughest shot he's going to have is going to be from that uh, six to the five. Mm -hmm. Give himself a good angle right here. He needs that angle right there to shoot again. To yeah. get to that six. That's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> if he was shooting a six right now, he'd be very happy. Could be all right. Yeah. He'll just draw back a little off the rail. That's the only thing. He does not want to get stuck to that rail. And he made sure of that. Rocket making... Quick work of this rack. He said, if I'm going to get a gift, I'm going to enjoy it. A little long, but he should be fine here. right to the Brunswick. <laughs> five five and the rocket and max have to fade to the railbirds and they have lawn chairs and stadium <laughs> chairs and <laughs> be eating french fries right in front of your shot <laughs> this is crazy right here it's it's what you have to do man and it happens everywhere and that's the hardest part about pool i think it might one of the hardest things people you're playing and they're talking about how your opponent's better than you and you hear all this stuff in your head man and it's yeah. so hard you got to just fade it you, you do you have to find a way to just remove that remove that energy it's hard to do i just think of little puppies running around in the field <laughs> <laughs> it works there you go little cute puppies there you go i hear you the rocket is uh very emphatic on Look this at break that. Once again, the balls are open and available, but he's on that rail. It's a tough shot. Yeah, and the twos. Yeah, he's got to come back. It's tough. All right, we have two 115 matches ready to go. Table number seven, Santo Sabahone, Ruben Batista, table seven. Oh, that sounds like a good match. That's going to be Santos two, and Ruben Bautista. That's another good match. The first time I ever saw Vilmos play, he, that, that's a shooter. He is a shooter. <laughs> Sorry. You better believe it. Dude. He can Chris shoot. This is tough right here, man. Yeah. Tough opening shot, but these are the type of shots that Rocket just Victor drills. Ignacio and Joe DeLeo to the tournament desk. And there it is. Nice. He's perfect. He's perfect on that ball. Take the cut. Come all the way down. Hit the rail and come back up. I used a nine. Oh. He was trying to use a nine. Yeah. He didn't leave. He didn't leave Max with much. No. He got a little fortunate here. Safe from here. I'm not shooting. Yeah, no, no. You can do a lot of stuff here, man. You can bank the two and roll the cue ball down the, by the rail and leave you stuck behind the five. You can. There's a lot of stuff you can do here. Right. You know. Me, I'm just. I try to create some distance though because these guys kick so well. Return kick saves or they jump it. You gotta l really lock them up. You can't just be making distance. You know, he's going to bank this ball. Oh, no. It did bank, though. It does bank. That was a good shot. Let's keep him close to that rail. It's an easy kick. Trying to keep him out of there. Rocket just might kick this right in the side. <laughs> he might. He just might.
very daunting task right here, pocketing that two ball to obtain shape on that three. This is very tough. Because I don't know if he can put high right and come around without knocking into that four ball and missing the corner. Right. So it almost looks like power draw it when he cuts it and comes one. Oh, he's going to go that way. This is a tough shot either way you go. Absolutely. Because that uh, pocket plays big. And then that other pocket, the other corner pocket, you got to watch out for. Absolutely. That pocket plays big. You can scratch right there for free. This is tough. That's a tough spot. I think I'm playing safe. <laughs> <laughs> I am, man. Yeah. I mean, it, the percent. I, I play the percentages now. You know, it's not a high percentage shot. Right. It's just not. I don't like it. So how about uh, bank the two over there by the four and put the cue ball up there by the nine or something? Yeah. Or you can even go go two rails, go behind the four and lead the, try to lead the cue ball down here by the two pieces of chalk. Right. And stick the cue ball behind the three. Go one rail and then stick it. That's a good job. You know? We need to leave distance. He went for the bank. He tried to play a two-way shot there, right. I think. Right, because he doesn't want to play tentative. He wants to try to stay ahead. Rocket just hit that ball like nothing. I don't know. A little back and forth here. Or maybe just a little forward. He put a little, uh, put a little English on that mm -hmm. one. Got a little funny there. He ain't liking that much. <laughs> well, I'm sure he's gonna find a way to recover here. Put a good stroke on this four ball. He's capable of it. Or he can bank the four down table and put the cue ball under the nine. Mm -hmm. You know, play the control game. But oh, Rocket, he's Rocket gonna shoot. cut it and go. He's gonna go underneath. Oh, that was. Look at this guy. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Fortune favors the boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Max is like, what happened? <laughs> oh, that was a big game, though, man. You see? Whew, see anything? You see? It's like what we said. He had a chance to dog catch chance to do that. He shot. And that's what they do most of the time. And he went the difficult way. Yeah, I did. He did. didn't choose to lay up. Table number one, Johnny Martinez, Sean Murphy. Table one, Johnny Martinez, Sean Murphy. Chris Tate, you're still on deck for table five. Oh, I just realized I'm going to ball play. <laughs> ball running in on the other table playing. They almost fold this. Those two played each other a time or two. All right, we have a Fargo rate adjustment, 79% uh, to Mr. Morris, 21% to Mr. Everly. <laughs> that changed quite a bit. Yes, it did. It changed the, pretty quick. Luke. After last game. <laughs> it was last game was about 49-51? Uh, yes. Nice contained and break there. Five sevens looking a little rough, and the two, yeah. the two is no picnic. No. But he has the pocket available. This is the part of the game that I really enjoy. This little cat and mouse and the decision making. That's it, because one decision, if you don't play it right or do something wrong, it's it's game over. Oh, absolutely. He's cutting this. This gonna be a good shot. He pulls this off. Oh, did he get away with it? Yes, he did. Wow. But you know he hit that ball so good. 
people out there need to realize that was a tough shot. Right. With that angle to go one rail and kill right. it for there the three. Was no, yes, that was not easy. <laughs> that was tough, man. Super tough shot. Uh, Rodney has a uh, one rail kick here. Try to create some separation. Or just left uh, Mr. Everly a good starter shot to start this run. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. He follow up and shoot the three in the side, too. Yep. He's got to get past that six ball. I'm already looking at the five seven from here. I know I'm only <laughs> shooting a two, but I'm already right. thinking, what am I going to do? I got to get a good angle on that on that four ball. Ooh. You see that? Yeah, that he had to get past that six ball. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Safety and break up the five seven. He can do it right here. Right? He can thin that ball. Yep. Come across. Clip the five clip out it, and uh, leave the key right behind right the seven. There, yeah. Ronnie says, uh, never mind that. I just banked this right in. Oh. <laughs> he was going after it, Luke. He <laughs> was going after I know. it. He's thinking about it. Oh, if he gets below, he's going to have the right line. We're going to see some collisions here. I think he got perfect on it. This is what I'm saying. The line where he he chose to, for that four ball to go up to watch the five this, ball. Watch this one. It's a great line. Watch this. And this is why the pros are the pros and the amateurs are the amateurs. Because they get out when we don't. If he gets a little funny on the ball, he recovers. If he doesn't like it, he plays the jam up safe. You jump out the window and you lose. He's, he's going to cut this ball in. Yeah, he's not going to leave this up. Look at that. The pool guys. Use the Look nine. That was perfect. Ronnie really knows those caroms and the collisions on those balls. And that means, dude, that's tremendous. Absolutely. When you know where the cue ball's going to go after it makes contact with another ball. Yeah. And this is what Ronnie does. You give him a chance. He might falter a little bit, but when he picks it up, you, you have a problem. Wow, what a stroke there, huh? He put a little stroke on that one, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were calling the rocket for nothing. I told you. Look at that. And there you go. And just like that, the rocket is on the hill. And this is a very highly contested match right now. Wow. You know, Max Everly is doing everything he can to make life miserable for Rodney. And Rodney said, you know what? I came to play today, buddy. It's funny. Right after he made that nine ball combo, I mean, after he made that carom. Yes. Then the momentum changed. Yes, it did. Did you see that? Yes, it did. The momentum change. He sucked the air right out of you. The guy shoots the ball and <laughs> counts the nine in, and yeah. then you're sitting there like, man, what am I going to do? Uh, yeah. Wow. Again, I want to thank uh, CSI for putting on this great event, man. Absolutely. And thank your sponsor, Kamui Products. Kamui and Checkio. Absolutely. I'm going I'm to I'm check Checkio. Dude, you have to. I'm going to do it, Luke. You have to. I'm going to do it, and then I'm going to stick you up for like a 1,000 cans. Yeah, like, we're going to have 5,000 right. at the expo. 5,000 <laughs> cans. Nice. We're going to be giving away. That's beautiful. So stop by the booth. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. You too. You get some too. If you're going to be there, you <laughs> My man, Steve. <laughs> Steve, Steve just had a birthday. He, holding it down, Mr. Kwan. Holding it down Pe on the technical side. Dude, people don't realize how much this guy no, does. This, this guy is a beast. I, I'm watching him. I'm giving monster. him his respect. He's running that TriCaster like he's a TriCaster master. People don't realize what it takes to commentate and run a production like this. And uh, I've been doing this a long time, commentating and helping out everybody yeah. from – Everybody, Alvin, uh, I mean, just tons of people, and it's, it's an ordeal, man. Absolutely. So we applaud you. Thank you, sir. And happy belated birthday. Just turned 18. Man. Number five, Tyler <laughs> Van Wolven, <laughs> table five. Tyler okay. Van Wolven, Rocket with a chance here to close this match out. Decides to Look play it, this. and he played Look the nine this. ball. Look at this. And oh. you know he played that nine ball. <laughs> If you think he didn't play the nine ball, you're smoking. Oh, you know what? He's got to – he can make this. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Boy, oh, that's tight. That's tight quarters. You know, I'm going to agree with you one time right here, Mr. Luke, and I'm going to say I'm going to play safe here. Yes. You have to. The only problem is, though – The one ball's going up table. Yeah. You've got to stick him right behind that five, and from that distance, it's yeah. tough. If you don't do it, it's going to be a problem. 
Because at nine, I know. Whew. This is tough from here, man. What do you do? He's, this is a, a hit. You've got to hit this ball. Yeah. I mean, there's no, if you don't, it's one, two, nine, game over. And because if he's hitting it flush and kicking it up table, yeah. He hit it. He hit it. He made it. I leave it. Mm. Well. He can, he can do bank. Do you bank this he's one pocket style yeah, to the night? He's going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, you, if not, you could leave, turn that cue ball, put some spin on it, and you leave it down there by the seven and the five ball. Right. It's like a two-way shot. Yeah. I don't know if it, well, is he looking at the <laughs> yeah. bank? <laughs> yeah. He and bringing the cue ball down table. Just like that, look. And bringing the cue ball down See? table. See? Yeah. He Just like that. The rocket. He's like, you know, it's his day. The mm -hmm. ball's lined up. And this is what happens. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We are here to bring you the best quality matches we can today. This is the Swanee 2016.